Hello friends, my name is Habib. Today we are going to learn how to create a virtual clock using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. First you open up your browser and VS Code. Code. So anyways, when you open up VS Code, now click on File, Open Folder, Document, New Folder, and name it Clock, TikTok, Create and then Open. So anyways, close this, get started, I already know how to get started, and before I watch this video, make sure that you watch my intro to HTML, CSS and JavaScript videos, or just have a basic knowledge of HTML, CSS and JavaScript, index.html, index.css, you already know what file we're going to create, and index.js, and in the HTML, plainly write HTML5. I'll create a link with an URL, REL of stylish links. href of index.css. of index.js slash script save copy pass wait click copy pass then paste the pass in the search bar enter There we go. Now that we've pasted this pass in the search bar, we should see a blank page, like always. Now create a div with a class of container, like always. Okay, maybe not like always. So anyways, create a span with an ID of powers. And with a text of zero zero. Select everything and copy it. Paste it. Copy, paste. Paste, 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 paste. You need to paste it about six times before we, you know, do all the fancy stuff of making the clock responsive and actually work and styling to it. So anyways, it seems like... So anyways, now, from this span, remove the idea of hours and instead put a colon. Again, in this span, move the idea of hours, put a colon, and in this span, change the idea of hours to session. Now, I'm going to write PM. So, anyways, in this span, move the idea of hours. And change it to minutes, move seconds. This is a totally re 
realistic clock. Anyways, you see that we've got a totally realistic clock. Zero hours, zero minutes, and zero seconds. But this isn't really, you know, cool. This clock doesn't actually work. So anyways, before we get to styling the clock, we'll have to make it actually work, which is more important. So, now write function display time set interval display time comma 10 this set interval make sure that it is going to be running this display time function every 10 seconds Or you can just say it's going to run this display time function 10 times a second. So, anyways, now write date time equals new date. Min, short for minutes. It's equal to daytime dot get hours HRS which is sort for hours equals daytime dot get hours. Don't make the same mistake as I did because this is meant to be get minutes. Now write sec equals date time dot get seconds So anyways now that we got all of these now we need to write document dot get element by ID hours which is this one here dot inner html is equal to powers hrs select everything and copy it Paste it three times. Now, in the second one, instead of writing hours, write minutes. In the last one, write seconds. Now, in this one, write min and sec. Save and reload. Now you see that it is working like an actual clock. But even though it's working like an actual clock, so you can leave it like this and move on to the styling. But this is in the 24 hour format, and some people may not like the 24 hour format. So, first we're going to style this, then we're going to come back to this to change it to the 24 hour, the 12 hour format. So, anyways, in the CSS, right, at import, now search for Google Fonts, Rubik, Bubbles, here click on the first link you cannot import and don't mind how many fonts I've selected and also don't mind how long this import is 
So anyways, if you haven't selected this font, then this should be a plus button. If this is a plus button, then click it. Then click on at import and copy the entire URL. Delete this and paste. Font family. Rubik. Bubbles. Comma. Cursive. Save and reload. Now this is very bubbly. And also add the H1 tag. Style. Text align center. Clock in HTML, comma, CSS and JS. Save, reload. Now we have the title slash topic of this lesson in this HTML and now it's displaying here. So anyways, we still have this small clock, which is not really beautiful in any way. It's just been styled with a new font family. So to make this beautiful, right, div text align center, makes it align to the center, translate, your px 200 px load this translate makes it go zero pixels to the right and 200 pixels down this text align center just aligns the text to the center anyone with basic css knowledge should know that so anyways right if span box shadow Zero zero one hundred px RGBA two five five comma two five five comma two five five comma zero point one, which basically means it's going to make this emit a white box shadow or a white glow. But if we wanted to do that, then we'd have to make the background to be black. Also add a font size of 160px. Now this is big, very big. And also add a color of white. White. Now you see that once I do that, it just disappears like that. We can still select since this text is not gone. Its color is just changed to the color of the background. So, to fix that, right? Body, background color black. The color that the text previously was. Now, we have this glowing clock. And also, in this H1 tab, in the style, right? Color white. So, anyways, now that we've done all the styling, you see that this clock is in the 24 hour format. So, you can technically stop the video here. If you like the 24 hour format, then stop the video here. Because in this last part of this video, we're going to change this from 24 hour format to 12 hour format. So to do that, right. If then, hours is greater than E or equal to 12 this sign means if ours is greater than or equal to 12 then session
dot inner html not session storage session not session storage is equal to pn else session dot inner html equals am now save this and create a new thing called session is equal to document dot get element by id session Now you see that this clock is the exact same thing as before. What this does is that it checks that if this is greater than 12, then it is going to use PM, but if it is less than 12, it is going to use AM. So now this is the part where we change this from 24 hour format to 12 hour format. Do that right. If then hours is greater than 12 hours equals hours minus 12 now you see it's in the beautiful 12 hour form It's showing the exact correct time. So anyways, that is it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel, Obacode. Bye!